Hi guys, um, so most of you are probably wondering why I'm doing this video and well my life's been a bit of a roller coaster to say the least uh, over the last couple of years. I mean losing my dad to cancer in 2011 was one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with in my life um, and then winning an Olympic medal last year in 2012 in front of a home crowd, finishing my A-levels this year, I mean it's been hectic. And well, one thing that I consider to be pretty important is to have some form of private life. And I mean, you're probably thinking, well, why did you do a book and why did you do a documentary and all that kind of stuff? But I've only ever talked about things I feel comfortable talking about. I mean, like when I was younger, I hated talking about the bullying situation at school. I didn't like talking about my dad uh, because obviously at the time, it was a sensitive subject, but I mean, it's it's one of those things that, well, in an ideal world, I wouldn't be doing this video uh, because it shouldn't matter. Um, but recently, I was misquoted in an interview and it made me feel really angry and frustrated. And, you know, like emotions that I've never felt before um, when reading something about myself and for me, honesty is something that I really do believe in, and I've always been honest. I may have been you no know, vague in some of my answers, but I've always been honest. And one thing I've never really felt that comfortable talking about um, are my relationships, because that's what I get asked, even if I'm doing sporting interviews, is do you have a girlfriend, who are you seeing, all that kind of stuff. And I mean, I've been dating girls and... Um, I've never really had a serious relationship to talk about. Um, and now I kind of feel ready to talk about my relationships. And, you know, come spring this year, <laughs> my life changed massively when I met someone and they make me feel so happy, so safe and everything just feels great and well that someone is a guy and it did take me by surprise a little bit um I mean it was always in the back of my head that something like that could happen but it wasn't until spring this year that something just clicked it felt right and I was like oh okay and like I said, my whole world just changed right there and then. And, you know, and of course I still fancy girls, but I mean, right now I'm dating a guy and I couldn't be happier. It makes me feel safe and it just, it just really does feel right. And people are going to have their own opinions and I think people are going to make a big deal of this. I mean, is it a big deal? Well, I don't think so. And... People will call me a liar, people, I mean, it's going to be, you know, big, but I wanted to say something and I feel like now I'm, I'm ready and I wanted to do it. And people will think, well, what, what will your dad say or what would your dad would have said? I mean, he always said to me, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. And right now I couldn't be happier. My mum's been so supportive as well. I mean, I can count the number of people I've told on my, on my hand, but all my friends and family that I've told have been like, so supportive, which has been great. Um, but I told the rest of my family today, and, well, let's just say they had mixed opinions. Um, lots of them, well, didn't believe it. Lots of them wanted me to keep it quiet. Some said, why don't you just do a statement? Why don't you just do... Why do you do a magazine cover? Why do you do a TV interview? But, I mean, I didn't want like to get my words twisted. I wanted to put an end to all the rumours, the speculation, and just say it and just tell you guys because, you know, that's what I want to do. And, I mean, my friends and family are always there to support me. And I hope you guys can be too. I mean, I'm still Tom. I still want to win an Olympic gold medal in Rio 2016 for Great Britain. 
I'm still motivated as motivated as ever to do that. Um, and I mean, it'd be great to have you guys on that journey too. But you know, I just wanted to make sure that I got to tell you guys um, before I head off to Houston uh, for a training camp that I've got up until Christmas. So I'm glad that I've got it off my chest, and I hope you can join me on my journey to Rio 2016 too.